every time you have a bicarbonate ion coming out into the tubule, it will be recycled back, resorbed back into your circulation. So the bicarbonate comes back while the protons go out into the urine. The protons are the acid. That's why your urine has to be always acidic if you are going to be letting go of those protons. That's why your blood will always be alkaline if it's taking back the bicarbonate ions. And that is why if you measure the urine with a dipstick, what are you telling yourself? You're telling yourself that you are, if it's acidic, great, I'm getting rid of protons. <laughs> if the urine is more alkaline, I have a real big kidney problem. Because the kidney is not able to bring the bicarbonates back into the blood. Then we will die. So we want our urine to be acidic. Yet they're telling you to alkalize your urine and that's why you have to measure your urine. You see how ridiculous it is scientifically? You see how easy it is to take advantage of people? They're looking obsessively for a urine that is more alkaline to think that they're healthy. I can tell you how easy it is to turn your urine into alkaline very rapidly without damaging the kidneys. You simply have to drink something like baking soda. Baking soda is so <laughs> alkaline that it will temporarily alkalize your urine, will force it because it will provide you with a lot of alkaline um, particles that the body will immediately try to get rid of because it cannot tolerate it in the blood. It cannot change the blood. It will not really affect you in the long run. It will not change how your tissues are because it will quickly go out in the, in the urine, alkalizing the urine and masking the truth. Masking the reality of whether or not your kidneys are able, capable or not in eliminating the acids which are the protons that you need to get rid of. You getting this? Besides, there are so many other factors involved. The kidneys could be functioning better or worse, which will definitely affect the result. But nobody tells you about that. So you might have a very acidic urine or very alkaline urine just because of a dysfunctional kidney, and you might think that you're very healthy by just measuring the urine. Again, it's ridiculous. We fall prey to this type of hype. Then we try to alkalize with all kind of foods. And we buy all those alkaline water devices that can cost three or four thousand dollars. Forgetting that when you just dissociate the ions of the water, you're not creating sufficient amount of, um, of particles to make significant effect within your tissues. So if you drink something like Coca-Cola, one bottle of Coca-Cola, one can of Coca-Cola, has sufficient acid-forming agents within it, and actual phosphoric acid, that you would need perhaps 40 glasses of alkaline water to undo, to undo the negative effect of one canister of Coca-Cola. Is it really worth it? Are you going to drink 40 glasses of water just because you have a canister? You won't. Which means that perhaps you should invest your money in something else. You're not going to be able to drink that much more. You have to avoid the Coca-Cola, period. And if you are not going to drink a lot of water in nature, and if you are making your own water by burning clean energy from carbohydrates and fat, even though you manufacture this carbonic acid, which you have to get rid of or else you will be very sick, then maybe you shouldn't invest that much in alkalizing your water, for drinking that is.
you're not drinking that much to make that big of an impact. I'm not saying it's bad, but if you only have so much money to invest in so many things that will improve your health, perhaps that's not the wisest investment. What I like about some of those devices is that they can generate really acid water so that you can use it as an antiseptic or to wash some vegetables. That's a good thing, but not for drinking that much. You're not going to drink that much if you're going to be healthy. You don't need that much water. So that was the ideal situation. Ideal because insulin was in high amount.